Started a lot of this spread out with South Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi, on North Carolina, Philadelphia, Virginia. We got a block on fifth, go your head out with it. Can't got the crown, this spread out with it. I've worked to feed the whole time. Boss, it's what I does. I get money, aka, that I does that. I'm big like Diddy, damn it, I'm with it. Big in my city. When you see crap, better duck when you can see me in a Porsche GT. Coming down sunset, sitting on these. I ain't insane, I need a shrink. I love brain, I need a leech. I don't even talk, I let the visa speak. And I like my sprite, beast of pink. I have more juice than your tuna. Touch and I will bust your medulla. I just fuck, fuck, fuck for Junior. Pimp fluid. <laughs> ain't shit, man. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, 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 the motherfucking sitch is in the building, man. Before you gotta go to work, because I know you're a busy man. The sitch is yeah, busy. Yeah, I'm already, I'm already he already at work. All right, all right, bet. All right, all right. Look, look, look. Real quick for the for the viewers, man. Just let everybody know, like, your name or your handle and where you from so they can just tap in. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I got you. All right, my name's Brett Messick. My name is, they call me Messy B, so you can put me under. Okay. It's, it's, a sitch, it's a situation right now. It's, 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 it's sitchy. It's, it's, it's sitchy around this motherfucker right now. All right, now look, man. I don't know. I don't know how much like you know about Guap Dad Four Thousand, but we about to put it to the test. It's a thing I do on the show now that you know I ask somebody three questions. If you get all three right, I send you twenty bucks. Uh, you get two right, I send you five bucks. And if you only get one right, I will send you a buck. It's how I play the game. Bro, I, I see your thing. I see your thing. Okay, so you all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, bad, bad, bad. So let's skip the bullshit and hop right to it. All right. First question, Sitchy. God damn it. Where in this wide world? Where in this wide world is Guap Dad Four Thousand from? City and state. Oh, yeah. He's from the Bay Area. There you okay. go. Okay. 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 See, this was too easy. That was a little too easy because see, see, you out there in Cali, and then you well traveled in Cali, so you, you know, what I mean, you know what the fuck is going on. I thought I was from California, but I know my shit. Well, but you live there, you know what I mean. You're not from there, but you, you dwell, brother. You dwell. That's yeah. the thing about it. I've been around. Ain't it? Ain't your first rodeo. This is my state by this point. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> All right. So that's a buck. Let's let's go on to the next question. So these next two questions is like, you know, it's it's multiple choice. So I give you three choices and you choose from one of them. All right. Sitchy, sitchy, sitchy. Wap Dad 4000 is widely known for his skill in what activity? Okay. A coding. B B scamming. <laughs> and see, see, look, 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 look. look. Come on, come on now. The, the FNAM game. <laughs> now nah, you are, bro. You are. Fuck all the bullshit. You definitely are, bro. <laughs> all right, dog. All right, here's the here's the here's the the twenty dollar question. You know, what I mean, the Mac Daddy. But you see how Sitch is rolling right now. Sitch is like Sitch is sipping his motherfucking drink, living his life right now. Oh my god, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you hip. I just got hip to my ties, like real, like the super my ties. I just got hip to it probably like five years ago. You know what Man, I mean? I there we go. There we go. You got you got to spike it. You got to spike it now. It's a real thing. All right, last question. Okay, I see you. I see you. Hey, and I've been seeing you on the gram, nigga. I get jealous. I'll be like, man, I gotta get out there to this nigga, man. <laughs> All right, hell yeah, hell yeah. Say, say no more. Already, already. All right, last question, real quick. I, you gonna breeze this one? Um, third question. Wop Dad Four Thousand has been the leader and socially credited for bringing back what style trend? It's a multiple choice. A do rags. B man pouches or C Gucci shoes. Is that your final answer, Sitchy? Is that your final answer, man? Sitchy. 
Sinchi, you absolutely correct, my nigga. <laughs> Hey, people, you'd be surprised if people to get looped up on that shit, man. You would be surprised, bro. I don't know how to hear for it, so I was like, shit, See, good. that's what I'm saying. See, that's the that's the sitchy instinct, brother. That's what that is. You know what I mean? The sitchy, the sitchy. You know, you know what I mean? He did though. He did his thing. But yeah, everybody he brought it back though. He brought it back, and now all the young cats is is really on the on the do rags now, man. But uh, shit. All right, uh, yo, I, I'm a man of my word. I know you. If, if you can use twenty dollars or not, do you, what you I got? That money, That's what I'm saying. Three tickets, three tickets in one week. So. Oh, bet. All right, hell yeah. Well, so what you got? What you on? You on? Uh, you got cash out? Apple Pay. That's the only thing you got. <laughs> I'll get Venmo. Get Venmo, or or I can meet you. I mean, I don't have a, I don't have Apple phone, but can I pay you on Apple Pay from a? From a an Android? Yeah, dude. You think works? You think helps, man? You know? <laughs> All right, bet. Well, shit. Give me the give me the thing, and if I can't send it to you through there, then I got you. Got to get Venmo, and then I'm gonna send it through Venmo. Either way, we'll figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. Figure it out. Wait, bro, that that's that's it. That's it. That's what this is for, brother. You know what I mean? Hey, Sitch, yeah. man. I, I love you, brother. Man, don't work too hard. Bro, you got. Oh, oh shit! I gotta, I gotta tap in, bro. I gotta tap in. Real. All right, look, man. We, we. Nah, do your thing, man. I appreciate you. Thank you, brother. No, it was good talking to you, man. Thanks for bringing me on. Of course, brother. You. Much love. Much love, man. Gone. Shout out again to my man. You know, follow my people, man. Follow anybody I put on this show. Happy Monday. Um, you know, work week is 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 back. Today is kind of special, man. Uh, you know, I got some home ties. You know, this is my boy that I'm covering today. Uh, you know, this is all this is all like family love type shit. Wop Dad Four Thousand, the Ferragamo Falcon. Um, you know, the 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 Fanam guy, the Fanam scam. I really one of my favorite people. Uh, you know, around out of Oakland, California. Shout out to the Bay. I love the Bay. I got a lot of good people, a lot of friends, a lot of a lot of people close to my heart is in the Bay. So shout out to the Bay. I've been on Guap Dad since he first came out. Uh, you know, even before he came out, I'm 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 on the inner circle of of Guap Dad. But you know, I really you know this guy. If you don't know who he is, you know, he's so entertaining. You know, Guap Dad puts out a mixtape, uh, and he's kind of heavily entrenched into like that west coast underground scene that's that's just been bubbling over the years and like his just his style he was able to connect with a lot of uh you know west coast up and comers like buddy one of my another one of my uh, one of my guys man like um smino um jid um which leads to his first studio album the dior deposits the album we're doing today it has just come out 1176 I mean, he's really surged to the top. He, he, you know, a lot of the top guys know about him. You know, he, he's had ties with Drake. And like I say, the whole Dreamville crew know him. He's, he knows J. Cole. He knows everybody in that in that camp. So he's really connected with a lot of people dope. I got 13 tracks from the from the Guap Dad himself. You know where we at with it, man. All Guap Daddians, all, all uh, what, Ferragamo Falcons, uh, assemble. Guap Dad, for the, it reminds me of the movie uh, Mr. 3000. I don't know why. Every time I just think about my man, that's what. And shout out to my nigga Sam. Shameless plug. You know who you are. No hell cat to the race. Big mask on, no face, no case. Big black checks back to back in the bank. Back to back, specs, freeze in the safe. Travel hella slow, you don't waste no way. Damage like a king to my wit, I'm a slave. Diamonds on my queen to this dick, she a slave. Ooh, I wasn't really expecting like the vibe that I got on this. When I first heard it come on, I was like, okay, they bringing kind of the strings in a little, a little bit of like a a, a sentimental uh, string record. But then once them once them drums come in and they vibe it out a bit, you settle you settle right into it. And then you know, Guap is good. He could find you some melodies though. You know, that's what I like about him. He's not scared to like search for some melodies, and he's got a good voice for it. Like you know, it's almost like his voice is bendable. It's a nice like intro record. 
You know what I mean? The kind of vibe you are. I have no clue what to expect from this. Time, she wanna fuck all the time. No little bitch. She wanna fuck all the time. Yeah. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, she want D-I-C-K. So I'm the one that she P-I-C-K. Yeah, she fine, but her partner's all ugly. See, and this is why I like uh, Guap Dad 4000, because he's reminiscent of past uh, California uh legends and and he builds on like like this like comical verse wordplay bro like his stories and, and this is a west coast thing like they are brilliant at making something funny but still serious like like i'm very serious with what i'm saying but it's, it just happens to be hilarious he thinks so obtuse and he puts certain things on his head do you just gotta be like that's yeah yeah that's funny or you'd be like man i've thought about that but i never would have said that hey baby girl let me whisper in your ear tell you a couple things you might like to hear he's just subtle tone on the whole shit it's just a do 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 it's real pimp like like this is some old school pimp shit like, like bitch let me come on over here girl i got about 20 dollars to get you a soda son yeah let's sign fight let's sign sign I'm talking about women wanting to have sex a lot you know, I always feel like women are really freakier than men. It's an illusion. Like we, we're outwardly more freaky. Women like hide it, but like once you unleash the dragon, I feel like they, sex. They are the dominators of sex. They like nigga, we invented sex. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and they did. They're like like women are sex. They embody that, and they way more than that. But like sex is, yeah, we got that. You know, and, and any real man knows that. Like you're not gonna keep up really for real with a woman's sex drive there's no way so you you take your ego off the table you know because men always some men really build their ego on sex if you do that you are playing a losing game trust me third quarter is going to get rough for you i mean i love sex just as much as the next person but i can't it can't be a foundation of my life you know come on now y'all know i love snickers ice cream bars but if i made that the foundation of my life Nigga, I'll be dead tomorrow. Like a speedboat, we sliding like ski slows for the love of the scenos. Only love my people, black and Filipino. Not to the police, though, to him I'm a target. Stealing from Target. If you don't want to see me, got an eight on your come up first. And let's he, he, he's reminiscent of, like, the dream on this motherfucker. Like, you got me right there, because I love the dream. Yeah, guap. I fuck with that. You know what I mean? It's a vibe. Um, he talking about being on 10 and he definitely is. And I, and I relate to that feeling, man. You know, it's just like, you know, when you're on a level up, you know, a genuine one, you know, it, you feel it, you know what I mean? And it translates in your life. It really do. No, I feel this record. It's, it's, it's a little slower sentimental, but it's that sentimental that I like. It's a different shade of guap. But if you know Guap, you'll really, you know this is a part of him. But if you don't know who he is, you probably be like, whoa. You gotta understand me and me. Me and all my niggas, we some big shots. Got to plan me and me. Send a shooter, you gon' send a big shot. No, I look young, but I got big Guap, yeah. Big fatty, big ready, Guap, big love. They check me when I'm big headed. E Very relatable record to where I'm at in life, too. You know, like. But he just talking about like a young nigga kind of winning, man, you know, and, and navigating that space. You know, he a big shot now. So he's talking about it, dog. You know, like this this is new. This is new money talking, you know. He's he's in the space. And so he's just talking about what it's like, you know, what it's really like. And and people get it fucked up, man. You know, that's why I respect these artists. I respect a guap dad because his position is not easy. And it's not just handed. I mean, you need people who give a fuck and, and give you opportunity, but it's about showing up to that opportunity. And that's what Guap Dad is, you know what I mean? And he showed up to every single opportunity. I love it when niggas younger than me. I love to see what young niggas do with money. I just be like the big brother sitting in the back like, uh-huh, you enjoying yourself, huh? What you doing with that other side of it, though? How you manage, you know? This I know how to be, you know, getting that cash. You could talk to famous people. You could just text a famous person that you're never going to take. You could bug them like you bug regular people. You'd be like, yo. But, you know, it's like a different thing. You know, they become your friend. You're friend with a famous person. And most people don't know what that's like, you know. I like guilty. I let you do my whole ride. Elvis, come have it, bust down the village, you baby, 21 and hope you're a savage, let me, I, I, I'm a savage, I'm a savage, I'm about self-care, 20k, let 
tell for I used to be on welfare. Yeah, she been giving it's got that. It's got that Florida, that Miami pace into it. It's got that Miami bass beat to it. Uh, I see y'all niggas. I see. Because I know y'all niggas been spending some time in Florida. <laughs> so y'all had to make a record for down there. Y'all probably made a couple of these records down there. Yeah, man. Nah, I'm feeling this one. This is go this is going off down south. Trust me, he can go in any club um, in the south and play this joint and get them popping. We all catch some bodies out here. As I get older, though, it's not a... I'm not out here just trying to catch bodies because I've realized like when you're younger, you're like, you don't know what catching bodies is about. You don't, you don't know the you don't know the uh, effect of you catching bodies when you're young. So you just fuck on. But then when you get older, you you be like, oh, oh, OK, it's way more than just that sex part. He, he's deceptive with his flow, too. He can get in there. Um, the fact that I really feel like Wab Dad can rap on anything. There's not a beat that he can't rap on. And I'm talking, I could throw this nigga the old, most old schoolest beat in the world. I'm talking about Run DMC shit, he'll rip it. Get with the times, it's 2020, baby, that's coming with stocky. Demons carrying torches, heaters hopping from porches. Hose hills sounding like horses. We ain't mono, put up in Porsches. Took off a Fenty, took off my Fenty, yeah. Shout out to b -Rick. He's He's brilliant at gliding. You know how to glide on a beat, you know, and still give you some realness. You know, he, he reveals himself well. Uh, and then I think that's like, that's genius, man. You know, most people, you know, especially artists, that's like the thing that the amateurs lack from the professionals. Like the professionals are really good at the translation of their authentic shit, you know, and, and that's what Guap Dad has he's he's obviously if he haven't mastered it he's well on in that process of mastering it dave boss did it i'm rocking more of they shit tap in i love it man this shit is comfortable and i'm fly and i got the arm wear that's how i do it i'm just out here fucking casket ah damn i love i love guap he he new school bro like he he's bringing he like he cool, dog. He a nigga to look at for some cool shit. I fuck with him. I fuck with his puns. He funny, but clever. Very clever guy. This fucking started as a plumber. 200 by the winter if you started in the summer. Both my parents trapped and it started with my mother. When you getting low phone, so you'll meet him with a smother. Yeah, I needed that shit that I could bump in the bay when I'm out there riding in some crazy shit. You know, as the sun going down. But pretty much when the sun is down right here is when you turn this record up. Night just falling, and you riding. This West Side shit right here, Bay shit. You just riding through the Bay. You might be on your way home from work. You can bump this on your way home from work. You just got off at uh, motherfucking uh, T-Mobile. You on your motherfucking way home. You throw that shit on Bay, bay shit. Vibes right here. This is a joint you put on your playlist, and you ain't mad. You know what I mean? The girls ain't gonna front. The girls gonna be oh oh okay. Girls know about Guap Dad. It's y'all niggas who not hip to Guap Dad. The women know. But y'all niggas, you know, we miss it. Women is all, if women, if you haven't noticed, women, they get to the music before you. Most men know about a new song from a woman. Because most men just on their hustle. Nigga, I've been working all goddamn week. What's going on in the, what's happening in the art world? I wanted to hate on this record when it first came, like when I first heard it, but damn, it got me closer towards the hook. I was like, okay, damn, listen to that. It got something to it. It got, it got something to it. And trust me, I know I know who's behind this. People who are behind this, I really love their music taste for the record, you know. And and it, it's similar to mine, so that's why I'm really putting an ear on this. He just get a little more gritty on your rhymes. He's taking away the being funny a little bit and just kind of getting more barry on you real quick. He pull a you know he pull it down on you because the beat requires it. This is for like y'all New York niggas, you know, to challenge you to be like, yeah, nigga. What you got about that? Can you do? I didn't know me. I'm going back to being a dog, dog, dog. Yeah. I won't let you out hold me. The thing that I like Wap Dad for is because he he does a style and and a and a he in a rap cadence that 
I would not normally like, but he makes me like it. Somehow he makes me like it. And that's great. That's what it's about. Yeah, you never had her. You never had her. You can never really possess somebody. Remember that. Like, that's the thing that niggas get fucked up when getting married. I challenge people, especially men. Would you get married if you knew that's not really your possession? That's just your life partner? Like, you got to understand what that is. You don't possess that. You know, just because you put a ring on it, you don't possess it. You, put a ring, you should put a ring on it because you respect what, what that is. You respect her learning curve. You respect how she attacks life. Not that she's perfect. You just respect what she wants to be. You respect her dream. You respect her everything. You respect her family. You respect, it's beyond that. If you just if you marry a woman, you're not just marrying a woman. You're marrying a family. Remember that. It's not just a woman. You marry everything that she cares about. Everything that she gives a fuck about. My uncle, he keep fucking crazy. He fucking scary. His personality is wealthy, overbearing. The type of uncle that got high and start oversharing. Except when it comes to my problems, then he overcares. All right, y'all niggas must have done this just for a me type nigga, and I appreciate it because uh, nah, this is dope. This this is for New York niggas right here, and y'all know, y'all know when y'all playing this game of hip hop, you gotta tap in, cause the greats have. I've been covering old school albums here, and all of the greats tap in on that uh, East Coast. From I just covered Master P, Ice Cube. Like I told you, he can rap on anything. And he brings that, I like that he don't sell out on this. He's still the Ferragamo Falcon on a New York beat. Yeah, Ooh, y'all should have got me on this beat. No, this is amazing. I love this. Yes. He said he built the castle of some John Walls. That's my fucking guy. You know, come on now. That's DC shit. Even though he in Houston, shout out Houston, but we get, we'll give you to Houston because my motherfucking man Westbrook been, my man Westbrook is here. Wow. I know what you're talking about. Everybody know what you're talking about. We, men, it's hard. I talk about this in, in, in other videos. You have to get over a lady fucking around. Doesn't change that. All that logic I just said doesn't change the fact that you feel it. Cause we all human and you feel it you know don't think i don't feel the hurt i feel that shit like a lot I've, I've been crying i've all of that like i didn't have it together all the time you know it, it's a thing that you it takes time flying off frequently constantly traveling i feel like machiavelli right now i get around i get around yeah I like the I like the real metaphor here. The name of the song is PlayStation. And when you PlayStation, you play. You're focused. You're not worried about anything else. When you play a video game, fuck life. I'm playing this fucking game and that's all that matters in my life. And he's putting that, he's converting that to the rap game. He's like, yo, I don't want to be fake famous or fake balling. When I ball, I want to ball. That's what the fuck I want you to see. That that's real he say i don't want to be the fabrication of that buddy i'm such a fan of buddy and i'm gonna definitely get this thing on the record at some point they didn't created a group uh actually together him smino jid and i'm like i'm trying to be just like i'm like the buster rhymes trying to get into the tribe called quest right now i'll be the janitor for this group that they've created i'll clean the floors i'm that humble <laughs> Like you play this at the right vibe, nobody will complain um, because it's a vibe record. Uh, and they do this. Come on, man. I know this camp. This camp is. This camp provides vibes. This camp is all about vibes. Uh, chicken, chicken, uh, chicken adobo, adobo. I don't know what that is, but it's probably some fire ass shit that he got hip to. See, I like this vibe and I love that he ended the album on this vibe. 
because this explains kind of the whole kind of the theme of this this is like just him sitting on the porch of that house and just this is the story it's about the realest he's gotten on the whole album he opened up he waited for the last record and just here, here it is people this is his kanye moment you know, uh, you know, where he just give the real story. This is the rawest he's, he's ever been. He's giving out everybody in this story, everybody in this life. Album concept and theme takes you back all the way to home. Everybody should be able to relate to this, knowing that that's the home that he grew up in. And then it's, it's California, it's Oakland, it's with the fire in the background. Um, you know, there's always been fire in California continuous burn this is why i love newer artists because they get very closer to the bone of what it is and and beyond his first album i feel like this album is even more revealing of who guap dad is this is not the this is not just that ferragamo falcon side this is actually what's beyond that and and i love that artwork though i mean it's the crib you know it's the crib and with like you know the the infliction of what's going on, you know, how, how things are burning, you know, how things, how America is coming to, things gotta go down before it come up, and it's indicative of that, like, things gotta kinda crash and burn for a new horizon, and it's even reflective of old Oakland, because Oakland and, and, and the Bay Area has had its riots, has had its time in, in, in the fire. The production value is high, I trust the artistic vision of everybody behind this project. Um, I'm excited for it to come out. So I'm gonna go very high in this department just because I trust it and I feel like it's forward thinking, but still with the past in mind, feels good. And there's no beat that's not gonna feel good to you. Um, it does, it's not a roller coaster, but it's a coast that you, you know what I mean? It's, it's a coast with good scenery. Creativity is also high for me because, A, uh, the production is creative. You know, it really is. Um, there's so many different vibes that's being translated on this. Uh, on the Ferragamo Falcon level, um, I feel like it's, it's, uh, it's so many bars in here that I've had to, like, be like, yo. He's taking a thought that I had, but, like, chopping it up even more. Replay value, the seven in replay value. Um, I think off of initial listen, it's a, it's a, it's few, it's like half the album, um, that I know I'm, I'm gonna come back to. Impact to the game of the culture is a little early, a little early to see, um, but I feel like he's setting a standard. He's setting a standard for this, for this year. Uh, this type of openness on this project is different. Like I've covered literally every new project to come out and the translation of his openness on this record ha really hasn't been matched by anybody. The lyrics on this album, it, I'm hard on lyrics uh, for a good reason, you know, just because I know how hard it is to create good lyrics. This guy, he, he he's beyond my like judgment really, you know, but uh, if, if I'm forced to judge my man's lyrics, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, I know we're like just similar people in the game. He's probably looking to be like, nigga, I'm gonna go with an eight. Obviously not the best bars I've ever heard in the world. He's not the, but he's he translates with his realness and he's so clever. This album scored a 56. It's a really good album. It's a really good album. And that's just base level. Like it has the potential to to be a classic. Trust me, like when Scarface came out, nobody knew it was a classic. It's hard to judge that. So I can only give you base levels. Yo. Shout out to Guap Dad 4000, bro. Shout out to Sam Lancaster. Shout out to the whole crew. Shout out to everybody who produced on this. Please support uh, Guap Dad right now. And that is it for your boy. Uh, I love you. If nobody ever told you that, man. Genuinely. Stay up in these streets. We out.